Welcome back to the shooting channel and today we've got the world's unbeatable gun. The manufacturer doesn't get advertised that much. It is an old gun and this gun is one gun that never falls apart. Everyone goes back to them after shooting the Kriegoffs, the Parazis, the Berettas, the Top End Browning. This is one gun that everyone should own and you will never ever knock this gun. the original Maruku 6000. I can tell you one thing, my father started shooting with one of these. He said to himself, when he could blame the gun, he would sell it. He's won more money with that gun than any other gun. And it is an unbeatable gun. It's basic, it's got grade one wood. The recoil pad is pretty basic. The engraving's pretty basic. It says Maruku 6000 Sporter there. Fixed choke, 28 inch. This is the start of where the MK38 became famous. The only thing I would say with these is they made them quite short and quite low in the cone. And that's where, when they moved up to the MK38, they took the Browning stock dimensions and made them higher. As a gun, you couldn't fault this gun. It is one hell of a gun. You can shoot it to death. My father, through his, shot well over a million cartridges through his and it still goes from this day and I'm going to be honest I cannot think of any other gun that beats this for the price you can pick one of these up for 750 pounds second hand what else beats this gun and quality of this gun and this is the gun that everyone copies this is the gun that Beretta, Browning, Yieldits, ATA most, th most things get copied off this gun and if you can pick one up, you've got to have one. This is one gun that you have to have in your collection. It's made in Japan. It's under licensed by Browning in the UK and Europe. All you Americans viewers, you want to get these guns into America. I know for some reason they don't come into America, but they are fantastic. If you can get hold of one, comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Maruku 6000. Let's go and shoot it. Let's go and have some fun with it. Paul? Well, the Maruku 6000 pretty much not much changed from the modern day Maruku the MK60 and the MK38. Obviously comb height, stock length. The biggest thing I find is the recoil of these. These were a little bit light. This is why they made the MK38 heavier to reduce the recoil. They didn't make the MK38 with all the extra barrel weight, stock weights, recoil reducing. They just made it heavy to reduce it, which is why if you look at my back on my MK38 reviews, which is why I say to people, if you want an out and out clay gun, it's the, and you haven't got a lot of money, it's the best gun that you can get. But they are heavy. They've got no bolt-on goodies on them. They are what they are. What you see in a Maruku is what you get. For the price, you can't beat them. They are a fantastic value for money. And they put a smile on your face. Every time you go back to them, you can go and shoot a 10,000 pound gun and you come back to this and it just puts a smile on your face. They just got it right. The one thing Japan has done is they've got gun making right. Let's go and shoot another stand. Pull. 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 
Ball. So that is the world's unbeatable gun. Comment below if you've ever shot a Maruku 6000. I hope you've enjoyed this film. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Don't forget, join the membership for as little as $2.99 a month and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.